So we, we were like, okay, let's look at let's look at the songs that we knew. That's the one first, the first one. Okay, ito okay, alam ko, ito alam ko, ito alam ko. So we're checking that. And then we were looking at dialects. It's like, how heavy is it Tagalog-wise? How heavy is it Bisaya-wise? I mean, is this, is uh, realistically, what is this gonna look like? And then, ayan, strike na naman, strike na naman. It's like, no, 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 we have too many of this. We need to, masyado marami Tagalog, kailangan, I mean, so there's that. And then I think we were able to figure out which ones, based on the ones that I knew really well, the ones that I would jump into kind of knowing the melody because of just hearing it from different singers. Like Matudnila, I mean, Pilito Corrales, it's, it's kind of like so attached to her. And she was my peg for listening before recording this. I mean, I, I listened to her voice, I don't know how many times, for how many hours, just to get it right. Um, and then I got into the studio and I think it was, and I was able to do it. But yeah, so things like that, things that were kind of buried in my brain that I wanted to try or take on. So between the two of us, we were able to whittle it down. Like, boy, that was hard. So is there an equal uh, representation uh, among the regions, or which one is top heavy? It's still, it's still Tagalog heavy. It's, well, cause, well, that's my dialect, it's my language. Um, and then next to that, I think Visaya is next. Uh, 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 then you have Iri Iri Tulu and I, which is my mom's dialect. Yeah. Then we have uh, Kamuri Namen, we have uh, we had uh, Kapampangan, I think we both Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm talking to myself. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, we have three. Um, Isaya, which is uh, one yeah, one Ilongo, one Kapampangan, one, one Ilongo, one Ilongo, and the rest is Tagalog. We have one Kapampangan, that's right. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And the rest was Tagalog? We had Bayi Kubo. You know, uh, we even had what we really had with Bayi Kubo. I was told that they don't teach these songs anymore in grade oh! school. They don't. They don't because when I said I, I, I'm not mentioning any school, but I said no, I did not. So I said, uh, does your class sing no by Google? So good side. No, they don't. They don't know by Google. Instill in the minds of these young boys and girls that you can only live in happiness and peace in a Baha'i Kubo. That when you, you can dream of be, living in a modern, big That's house. kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> kind of weird. That's my job. No, your album I say, is very timely, especially in the light of uh, the decision to kick out the teaching of Filipino in the educational system. Also like, I know, Bakta Lima. Yeah, yeah, knowledge, yes. Ayaw na nila yan. Kasi it's negative. So very timely. Okay, it's a direct answer. Sa akin, hindi negative yun. Kasi, I'm not saying, musically, it's good. But the lyrics, the lyrical content of the song, it's to literally many, a list to me of to many people is negative. Why? <laughs> because now you instill in the minds of these young boys and girls that you can only live in peace and happiness. I never, Actually, no. I never no. Saw that. When I learned, when I learned by, my mom taught me by Google. When I was like maybe a year and a half old, and I've sung it, and I'm still singing it, it never occurred to me to dream small as a result of that song. It's not, it's not, you, you take from a song what you take from a song. And I guess any, any individual will interpret it in their own individual way. 
And for me, that always, I mean, never mind the feelings of happiness and joy because my mother taught me that song. But it's like, you can create a three-story Bahay Kubo if you want. But then you have your organic you're, garden in the back, which is probably going to be expensive. You're a different child. <laughs> but wait, wait. You know, I, uh, I we went. I go around the country doing um, songwriting workshops, and when we talk about lyrics, and I tell them about Bahay Kubo, I ask because uh, sometimes our audience would be from high school to college. So I ask them, "Ano ang sinasabi ni to? And of course, they say, "Ang distahan ng gulay." <laughs> Bisahan ng gulay para uh, that is in the superficial level, no? Yeah. But you know what? A lot of them, alam niyo kano siya sabi ang sagot nila. It instills. Uh, uh, ah, sorry, ako naman English. Tagalog kita. Oh, it, oh, ah, uh, it instills kasipagan, industriousness because. Magtanim ka lang, buhay ka na. Hindi ka na, hindi ka na kailangan pang pupunta na. What, what, what they're saying is, uh, pagka marunong ka magtanim, buhay ka na. Buhay ka na. I'm, I'm talking about people in the provinces. Parang naiintindihan nila yun in that manner. Kasi, o oh, nga, no? Nag, minsan nagkukulat ako when, when people tell, when yeah, people say, perspective ang perspective nila, nila gano'n. Uh, Self-sufficiency. Yeah. Uh, so. Which I think should be done in all these schools to instill it into yeah. the mind Thank you. kids. So that they will not think that coming to the city is the end and be all of your Thanks. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> we need to decentralize money. Yeah. That's a whole other discussion. Exactly. We yeah. have to decongest money. Yeah, go, to, go back to the province and plant and make buy Not necessarily plant, but uh, oh, make a life for yourself. Life is not just you. Yeah. Yeah. You big business in the province. Yeah. Yeah.